Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. Dopos meet three strong group, heavily backing Obaseki to win Ize Iyamo and rule for second term in Edo State. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Whatever time we're reaching you today, a very big thank you for your support. By now, you know what we are talking about. Is the Edo State politics. And like I said, and I will always say, everyone needs to seek endorsement and go about the people reiterating to them how they should pick them because they have this and this to offer them to make sure that the life and the living of Edo State people become better than what it was before they came into government. One of such people is Governor Gordon Obaseki, the incumbent governor who already has, I mean, a report card to show to the people why he should be re-voted in. A strong contender is Ize Iyamu, seriously backed up by Adams Oshomole. Adams Oshomole is so desperate for Ize Iyamu to rule, and some people are saying it is because he wants to rule from proxy. He's seeking seriously to become a governor again, for the third term, but this time to rule by proxy, which is fondly called in Nigeria, God for Tharism. Well, at the moment, uh, Governor Gordon Obaseki has the backing of some persons, which might uh, likely give him uh, upper hand in the forthcoming elections. Well, guys, it is important that every one of them get the endorsement of uh, you know, people who controls people. What I mean by that is leaders. So these people are able to pull followers and say, see guys, this is who we should vote for. You know, a leader gives direction. It gives proper, uh, you know, uh, uh, guidance and leadership and people tends to follow. Let's get right straight into the news and get all the details. Edo polls meet three strong groups heavily backing Obaseki to win Ize Iyamu rule for second term. The forthcoming Edo governorship election is one of the key political events to watch out for as the two major political parties and their candidates gear up to slug it out. The Edo polls is seen by many as a contest between Governor Gordon Obaseki of the People's Democratic Party and his major challenge is not just Ijze Iyamu, but Adam Sushumole. Ize Yamu happens to be the candidate he's using of the All Progressive Congress APC. Why Obaseki and his loyalists are fighting hard to ensure he wins Ize Iyamu of APC and rule for a second term. The APC are battling to help Ize Iyamu unseat Obaseki and become the next governor of the South of the South South State. Although there are other supporters working to help Obaseki win his second term bid, but this article set out to discuss the three strong groups backing the governor to help him defeat Ize Iyamu, the APC, and, and rule Edo for the second term. Why nobody can tell for sure who will win the election as at the moment, it is clear that whoever plays his card better and gets the majority vote of the people will win the contest at the end of the day. As an incumbent governor, Godwin Obaseki is a force to reckon with, having done so much and achieved so much, and the people are right behind him. Having a strong backing of the group will also add a big boost to his campaign in the re-election. The first group is made up of Governor Newsom Wike of River State, PDP Governor, uh, and this group is one of the strongest forces backing Obaseki from the South-South. They started backing him right from when he deflected from the APC to the PDP. Recall that before he deflected to the PDP, Obaseki met Wike in Port Harcourt, River State, to counsel him. He later met Governor Udo Emmanuel of Akwaibom State as well after that, Obaseki then deflected to the People Democratic Party a few days later. The PDP governor plays a great role in helping Obaseki secure the party's governorship ticket that is of his running and that of his running mate, Philip Shaibo. Apart from that, the PDP governors are playing great roles in Obaseki's campaign with Governor Wike as the frontline constituent 
constituted body to be the, the campaign chairman. Wike is the chairman of the Edo State Campaign Council. He's taking the campaign to a whole new level. He's, the, he's a vocal one, you know, and bold and direct, direct and making key political statements. Wike, the PDP governor, are out to support Obaseki. It always possible to ensure he wins the re-election. They plan to have their six states in the South-South zone to be under the People Democratic Party as Governor Okowa of Delta State, who is the chairman of South-South PDP Governors Forum, revealed why addressing Obaseki as of the strong backing of the governors from the zone. The second group are the people People Democratic Party leaders and party members. The People Democratic Party Party leaders at both the national level and state level are the next pillar of support for Baseki. Why Obaseki hopes to get good number of votes from People Democratic Party members in Edo State. Other members of PDP outside the state still plays a great role. They are campaigning for him using their various med medium and medias. Phone calls to their loved ones and friends in Edo State can make strong make a whole difference and makes the work different. They may even go to the state to physically work for Baseki, just like what the governor of Delta State did a few days ago when he came with Governor Baseki to campaign in Edo State in one of his campaign to one of the local government area. Edo State for good, having an incumbent governor as the candidate strong enough like Governor Gordon Obaseki, who is not just making mere promises but has worked in his first tenure, stand a good chance if the people of Edo State thinks he needs to be their governor again and give him their backing. The third group are the key loyals, loyalists of Obaseki. These key loyalists or for Baseki include his deputy. Oh, his deputy. His deputy is like a brother, more than a brother to him. His commissioners, other aides, allies of party loyalists and other people very loyal to him. Irrespective of the political party they are contesting under, there are so many other people, in even in APC, who want Governor Gordon Obaseki back as a do state governor. Still, others may not openly tell or deflect to the People Democratic Party yet, but they have a strong backing because they know the man has good intention and intends to work for a do state. And as such, they are keeping it real, making their vote, their campaign a grassroots one and will definitely give him their vote. The elections are in full swing. Governor Gordon Obaseki stands a great chance, but at the moment, no one can tell who will win the all-awaited elections. It's still a game of chance for anybody. It could sway at any time. But the truth of the matter is, if Obaseki keeps focus and it does not allow the activities of Oshomole or Ize Iyamu to distract him, stay true to the cause and speak with the people heart to heart, he will win the people and eventually become the governor again of Edo State. My people, what is more there to say? I just want to say a very big thank you. God bless you. Have a fantastic day. Bye for now.